622, she gets a text from her mom. She doesn't answer it. At 625, the phone goes off. Have you been able to determine with the pings where she was between uh, her last known sighting, which was, I guess, around, what, 617, and then getting the text at 622? Have you been able to figure out with the pings where she was at 622? Uh, the, the last pings are consistent with where we know she was in, in that area of the, uh, the the Circle K filling station and, and the Rite Aid. Um, so that, that's that's consistent, and that's all that we have is just the phone has just stopped communicating as, as of about the, the, the 635 time. Now, uh, here's the thing that occurs to me. If she was on a major freeway, you're looking for this vehicle. The vehicle has disappeared into thin air. Um, wouldn't you have spotted this vehicle, whether she was driving it or some abductor was driving it by now, if it was driving on freeways? Have you uh, considered, and I'm sure you have, the possibility that somebody in the immediate area abducted her and put this vehicle in their garage? And are you going sort of door to door in the Dundee uh, Newburgh area to see if anybody has a car in their garage or hidden in their backyard? Um, the, the actual door-to-door -door, uh, and neighborhood search, uh, no, we haven't done that. Um, the inference that all that we're gaining, the, the information that we're gaining um, tends to not to lend that direction. It lends more to um, she took off on her own. That said, that said, we're not, you know, closing up, uh, closing the uh, other, any other options either, but uh, we haven't moved to that direction to a door-to-door -door neighborhood yeah. search. Well, we're going to show you a map in a second. There it is. She could drive a three or whoever is driving that car could drive a 350 mile radius that goes all the way up across the border to Vancouver. Do we know if she had her passport with her or whether her passport was at home? Uh, that question has been asked and she doesn't uh, have a passport, at least to my knowledge. But I know that that question has been asked by the detective. No. In other words, she had it with her? No, did not. Oh, did not. Okay. All right. That answers does, the question. Does not, does not possess a passport. Um, now, that's, that's, that's my understanding. Oh, she does not possess a passport. All right. Um, boy, I have to ask you about the whole headache sleeping pills. Do we have any evidence mm. that she may have been taking sleeping pills regularly? And, and I ask this question. No. Honestly, as I'm a recovering alcoholic with 19 years of sobriety, I can't take those sleeping pills because that would be considered a slip because they are mood altering. And um, so uh, they they can also be habit forming. That's that is the case. We, we see that with a lot of prescription pills and with over the counter pills, people. And it's no fault of their own. It just happens. It's it's the it's the fault of the of the, of the items that they are habit producing. Um, do we have any sense that she may have been on a regular uh, routine of taking uh, sleeping pills because her, her her father said that she often had trouble getting to sleep? No, I, I heard that when you were interviewing her father a few moments ago. And, and no, we don't have any evidence of that, uh, whatever, that she had any sort of uh, habit or addiction to sleeping pills or anything like that. It's actually quite the contrary, um, that, that uh, she... That, that would be very surprising if the if that were to have were to be the case, but we have no evidence or indication of that at this time.